2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Welcome everyone, the regular season is in the books. The battle for the East begins. Round one, game one. Kevin Harlan here, and I'm joined by Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. Now we're starting group for Orlando. The forward spots, it's Wagner and Van Karras. The guard pair, it's Suggs and Harris. And it's Carter in at the five, roaming the paint. And for Cleveland, the wing set for him, Mitchell and Okoro. The big men on the floor for Mobley and Allen. And it's Garland in at the one. And you look at Cleveland. And you know, Greg, they've worked so hard to establish on court advantage. And they may need it having drawn a brutal opponent here in round one. Not much of a reward for the season that uh -huh. they just had. <laughs> you know, many prognosticators think this series could go either way. That makes it crucially important to take this game. But they're just so happy to be here, right? All the season, all the practices and games, just to be here it is such a reward. A lot of, a lot of excitement, but also a certain level of anxiety. The three from Garland. That one's no good. 0 of 1 to begin the game. Here's Wagner. Mobley with the block. Out of bounds as Orlando keeps possession. Here's Wagner. Bancaro outside. From the arc, nailed from three-point land. And this is something Bancaro continues to hone, wanting to become a dangerous threat from deep. Garland, the pass to Okoro. Count that one for Mobley. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, this should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now, here's Sharp. Six to shoot. And Carroll. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. And Carroll's got five. And the paint is where you love to watch Barcaro work. With his size and athleticism, he can attack so effectively inside. The shot's good. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. Suggs kicks to Barcaro. The pass to Suggs. Eyes again. Barcaro, that's good. He has seven. And great attention to detail from Boncaro on the play. Making sure he's there to get the ball and send it back. Now, here's Mitchell. From deep. It's up and it's off the mark. He's over one. Boncaro outside. And then Carter with the jam. Well, because Carter Jr. is so dynamic athletically, his teammates have a lot of confidence in him finishing the alley-oop. And it's Allen slamming it down. Woo-hoo-hoo, -hoo, that's the stuff of nightmare for the defense. They'll see that one in their sleep. A long athlete like Allen flying in the air, that's a bad picture. It's good. What a move showing off the handles there. The Cavaliers trail by three. Garland, the pass to Okoro. Back to Garland. And the Cavaliers get another button right there. And the release for Garland is getting quicker as he gets more comfortable. Master Carter to the inside. Here's Ben Carroll. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. For Cleveland, they've gone five and seven today so far. Nice shooting to get this game underway. Mitchell passes to Mobley. Garland, he feeds it to Mitchell. And the call to foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Just impressed with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. Five straight baskets resulting from assists. They're playing as one unit out there. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Cavaliers. Their chemistry. That's what really stood out so far in this one to me. Look at the number of assists they've been able to rack up so far. And on top of that, they've been asserting themselves offensively, getting a good chunk of their points from inside. 
Suggs with the ball. Still without a master. And Carroll finds Harris. Harris's confidence and physicality and determination allow him to draw fouls as he gets close to the basket. And he's got his first free throw of the game. free throw is good. I like the competitive juice of Gary Harris. He wants to win every game and he plays for his team at a high level. Good on both. And it's Mitchell with the ball for the Cavaliers. Now, Okoro, and it's Isaac Okoro with the foul. That's his first foul. Oh, great defense there. Anticipated the play and got there first. And not afraid to put his body on the line either. He took a shot for the team in that situation. Suggs dishes to Carter. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Carter Jr. plays with an impressive physicality. I think it's what makes defenders overcommit like this. The Magic have had two chances at the line already, making them both. And that one falls for Carter. You know, when we talk about the modern big, Carter Jr. is a great example of it. He can shoot, he boards it, he's got good size and a pretty diverse skill set. George Niang, he's checked in for the Cavaliers. So he gets them both. Cleveland's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Pass to Mitchell. Niang with the ball. Harder on him. Shots good by Mitchell. Mitchell's got his second bucket of the night. And don't give Mitchell too many of those looks. Once he gets in rhythm, it is hard to stop. And it'll be Orlando with their first time out of the game right here. And he uses the glass on the lane. Wagner's got his second basket. Great concentration from Wagner. The German sticking with it there. Garland surveying the D. Over Sun. And Cleveland again with the bucket. Orlando, they've gone six of eight in the game so far. A very solid start for them. Here's Wagner. Over Okoro. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Wagner's got his third basket of the night. Just focusing on the task at hand. That's all you can do. Yeah, these teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. They are just killing a fan on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. You got to play with some physicality in the paint. I'll tell you what, I'm not sure these guys can keep this up. High-octane action for sure. Crowd-pleasing already. 
Now, oh, here's Mitchell. And he banks in the lane. Mitchell's got seven. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Well, the defensive rotations have been a step slow, and it's really helped them get that ball inside time after time. That one goes in. Boy, I like Suggs knocking down that mid-range jump shot. That's what the defense gave him. Make him pay for it. Mobley outside. Pass to Garland. Good on the three-point shot. He's got 11. And when they go into him, he has come through big time. You've got to keep getting him touches. And that one's good. Suggs. Boy, that's just the toughness basket by Suggs right there. Remember now, this young man was an all-state football player in high school. Now the pass to Mobley. Orlando Hollow Pantero. His first. This is his first free throw of the game. At the line for Cleveland, Evan Mobley. He throw good, Mobley. Whatever look now for Cleveland. Max Cruz is checked in for Okoro, and Karis Levert subbed in for Garland. So Orlando going with an almost entirely new group here. Mo Wagner's checked in for Carter. Isaac comes in for Franz Wagner. Markel Volt is checked in for Harris. And Anthony subbed in for Suggs. Now a timeout called by Orlando. Let's give it up for your pass, our team. With the ball for the Magic. They trail by one. Wagner outside. Mobley with the block. Here's Cruz. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. And the Cavaliers lead by three. Anthony against Mitchell. And Carroll outside. Shoots over Struz. Bancaro, that's good. And it's nine points for Paolo Bancaro. Great start for him. 4-4. Four, four. He could be in for a big game. Certainly looks that way to me, partner. I mean, his energy level is ramped up. I think he's been terrific right from the opening tip. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky right there for the beat. Anthony. A putback. Rebounded by Donovan Mitchell. Cleveland's gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. And he gets the bucket. Mitchell's got nine. And bursting through inside. So difficult to contain when Mitchell's on the attack. Anthony, the pass to Wagner. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Here's Levert, rebounded by Isaac. Now you can look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get pulled. Well, you know, I hear you. Assistant. That's a good look, but when Jonathan you're that wide Isaac. open, I think you got to knock it down. Cavaliers trailing, and here's Levert over Fultz. A nice shot by the first. Oh boy, because he has great confidence in his ball handling skill, he's fearless attacking the rim. Wagner outside. Mobley with the block. 
And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. A nice shot by LaVert. LaVert's got his second basket of the night. Boy, he's really feeling it right now, shooting a high percentage to start this game. Abner outside. Mobley with the block. And the Cavaliers pushing it up now. LaVert kicks to Mitchell. We've got 123 left in the first quarter. Bangs home the trifecta. Now it's a six-point Cavalier lead. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they shot the basketball. Very high percentage so far. And if you want to start a game hot, that's the way to do it. Now here's Anthony. Still scoreless. It's in and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Fultz, his shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. Fultz, so good at utilizing the screen and roll. I mean, he knows how to get a little separation, and when he does, He's a scoring threat. Again, the Cavaliers score. And pro move there. Finds a way to gain some separation against the much taller defender. You know, your assumption would be that he'd be at a big disadvantage in that matchup, but you'd be assuming wrong. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get back into it? Now, here's Mitchell. He's got 11. And another three for Cleveland. What a response by Mitchell. He takes those three points right back. And so is the Cleveland Cavalier in the driver's seat. Up eight points at the end of the quarter. They dictate the pace, push the ball at every chance, and it's paying off for them. And don't go away. We'll be right back. here in game one. Let's see what this quarter has in store for us. And taking a look at the Cavaliers' performance here, what do you guys see? Well, the offense is clicking, and they seem to have seized the momentum here early on. Yeah, you know, I agree. No warm-up needed. They came in on fire and have already built a nice lead. The Magic trail by eight, so on the floor for Orlando. Filling the perimeter slots, it's Harrison Wagner. A post pairing, Isaac and Carter Jr. And it sucks in at the one spot. You know, I think the effort on defense there has everything to do with why he missed that shot. Well done. Mitchell finds Allen. Excellent pass to Mitchell. His teammates are so fortunate to have the guy to make him better. Carter outside. The shot from the low post is good. Carter's got six. I love how he establishes his post position inside before he converts. Now, here's Mitchell. Not a lot of room. Allen passes to Levert. Over Harris. And the Cavaliers get another bucket right there. Like the way Levert controls himself. Always under control. Knows what he's looking for. Takes his time. Particularly when he's close to the basket. Now, here is Harris. And it's Bruce kicks to Allen. Mitchell, this is to Allen. Cleveland moving the ball around. Levert from outside. Rebound by the Magic. Suggs passes to Carter. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. He'll have a chance at the line to make it a three point play. Simply overpowers defenders when met with contact. Wendell Carter Jr., as tough as they come. He's gone two for two at the line so far. That one misses. Cleveland leading by eight. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. It's stolen by Allen. And it's yeah. Allen with the jam. They're exhibiting toughness right there and persistence. Allen might have been fouled on that inside basket. A steal. 
Passes it to Garland. Three pointer buries it from three point range. Garland's got 14 points. He just sagged off just enough and no hesitation on his part. Here's Harris and it's sent back by Allen. Boy, elite shot blocking is what Jared Allen gives you night in and night out, both inside and even on the perimeter, too. He's an excellent defender. Now, here's Garland. This is the most they've led by 13 points. Just four to shoot. Here's a Coro, and he lays it straight in. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots at close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. They're trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. Carter, eight points for him. Isaac passes to Wagner to stop the run, and it's good on the way in. Wagner's got eight. Wagner saw the opening and took off, slashing with the best of them. Garland, the pass to Mobley, launches it from deep, and there's Garland. That's good on the assist by Mobley. Mobley's got his third assist on the night. Almost four minutes gone here in the second quarter of play. He gets it in there. Just a positive force right now for these guys. And though his team has fallen a bit short, it's not because of him. Now, here's Okoro. And they pick up two. Okoro's got four points this quarter. Wow, I'm surprised he took that shot. But he has a huge size disadvantage in that matchup. But tremendous job to knock that one down. And the Cavaliers get another bucket right there. Yep, you know, after a score this first period, he's really turned it up a notch, building some momentum. That's the Suggs. Back to Harris. Just five to shoot. Over Allen. And it's sent back by Allen. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. The Cavaliers leading by 18. Garland dishes to Allen. Now, here's Okoro. He's defended by Wagner. Here's Allen, and again, it's Cleveland. Always good to see a player like Allen expanding his offensive game, changing things up and keeping the defense honest. Going inside. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Pass to Merrill. Basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Give them credit. Offensively, they've been the more efficient team. Well, you know, it's been all high percentage shot form so far. I mean, just the kind of execution you want in the first half. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Paulo Banqueros checked in for Orlando. with the ball for Orlando. Driving in, and it's sent back by Allen. And it's out of bounds, last touch by Allen. 
The Magic making the switch here. Anthony's checked in. On the clock. No one near Suggs as he lets it go. The good looking shot from the wing. Easy look provided by Wendell Carter Jr. Always helps when your bigs can share the rock. Chris Garland got it. And he's now 8 9 from the floor. When you allow good scores to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. And you know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. Carter with the bucket. With really clean, simple mechanics. Carter Jr. shoots with a lot of confidence. Not much else the D could do there. And then Allen slams it in. He pulls off the three to make that catch and slam it through. Stupendous alley oop. And the crowd got their jaws dropped on that one. Total disbelief. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Allen kicks to Garland. And there's the pass to Mero. Inside, Mobley. Nice pass. Let him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Mobley's got six. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Here's Wagner. And again, it's Orlando converting. Really like how Wagner is really going after it on offense. That's part of why he's hot right now. And they call an illegal screen here. Not screen, and not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was 40 years ago. And Cleveland making a change here. Niang's checked in. Orlando also making some changes. Wagner comes in for Franz Wagner. And it's Fultz in for Sun. Here's Garland. Paolo Bancaro making his last shot. And it just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. Fultz with the ball. Outside Anthony. The baseline jam. And there are the Magic with another bucket. Clever call by Anthony there. Using the pick and roll to create an opening. Garland against Anthony. It's Allen on the wing. Here's Merrill. A basket good off the assist from Allen. Merrill's got six here in this quarter. And guys, there are some you can give that shot to. But, but let's be clear, he's not one of them. Terrible job there by the D. Now here is Carter. He's got 10 over Allen. Again, the magic score. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now that they've allowed from point blank range. Can't have it. No misses for him yet in this quarter. Solid as a rock. Here's Anthony. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. And you know, it doesn't matter how good your defense is on the perimeter if you're going to allow easy ones inside like that. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Both teams deciding to change it up. And when it comes to efficiency, Anthony's strongest suit is at the line. Allen outside. Here's Spruce. An easy two points on the lane. Spruce has got his third bucket of the night. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. You know what, guys? Honestly, I didn't think he'd win that battle. I mean, that's a lot of height to give up. The Cavaliers leading by 20. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. 157 left in the first half. Here's Mitchell. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Oh, a fearless play by Mitchell. Sinks his shot while being fouled, and now he'll get to the line. The Cavaliers have hit all four of their chances so far in this one. And 
And we've seen Mitchell go up against much larger defenders throughout his career. And the reason he makes it look so easy is because of that 6'10 wingspan. Keep in mind, he stands at 6'1", but that's incredible length at his height. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. Way to attack there and then create the contact. Really, as close as you can get to an and one right there, he almost had it. The Magic have shot a good percentage from the free throw line so far. They've made five out of six. That's good from Wagner. Both free throws good from Wagner. The Cavaliers leading by 21. Mitchell feeling it out a bit. And it's off from three-point range. And here's Van Carroll. He'll bring it up for Orlando. Here's Wagner. In it goes for the eighth time in 10 tries. Just punishing the defense from the interior. Wagner doesn't mind scoring against physical defense. Mitchell passes to Niang. Down to five on the shot clock. And he comes up with the deuce. And the Cavaliers lead by 21. Anthony up on top. Covered by Mitchell. Van Carroll. That's good. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. And there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive glass, getting it done. Allen's got 10 points now just in this quarter. Just two seconds between shot clock and game. Clock. Now Anthony, he has five. Over Allen. Here's Wagner. Gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. Wagner's got six. The tenacity of the fans here in this family. We need that effort and will. The second chance move. Darius Garland has been leading the charge for Cleveland. They've leaned on him for offense, and he hasn't let him down. He's now up to 23 points today. Back to the action in just a minute. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. SRO, standing room only. Ooh, nice. I'm your host, Ernie Johnson. We've got Shaq here, got Kenny in the jet. For the Cavaliers, boy, have they ever started this series off on the right foot. They've thrown down the gauntlet here in game one with their intensity and effectiveness on both ends of the floor. Now, they've got a little bit of an intimidation factor going into the second half. Kenny, what's your take on Cleveland so far? The difference in this point is staggering. Their second unit came to play tonight. They were aggressive. you got to figure the starters are loving it, seeing how much work their second unit is getting. Check. what do you think about Orlando? First of all, where's the intensity going to be? You think when a team is punking you like this, you at least try to put a stop to it. Nope. Just keep giving up open looks, letting the lead get bigger and bigger and bigger. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. NBA playoff round one. Thanks for joining us as we get back to the action on the court. We're seeing a tremendous game here, guys, from Darius Garland. Yeah, he's just been raining down on them from deep here. Talk about dialed in. Well, you know, the stroke looks fantastic. Even when he's had a hand in his face, it hasn't affected him at all. And we're with you again as our round one coverage continues. And there are two big men out there, Mobley and Allen. At the guard position, it's Garland and Mitchell. And it's a Coro in at the three spot. And that's the group for J.B. Bickerstaff as we begin the second half. 
Good work by Wagner there, taking advantage of a point blank opportunity. To the paint, and a good roll comes it down. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, she ate the pick working to full effect before the stop. And you know, not enough help from the defense yeah, there to so compensate. He gets a clean look, bomb, and that's exactly bomb. how you draw it up. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Yeah, if that's a harbinger of things to come, he's looking at having a very big yeah, second half. And it's good for two. That's their third straight make off an assist. Mitchell outside. Passes it to Allen. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Beyond the leaning, you could see his feet weren't set on that screen. Easy call. Yeah, I agree. You know, sometimes that can be a tough call for the refs to make, but not that time. It was easy there. Now, here's Wagner. He's got 19. Dan Carroll, right side. Here's Wagner. Here's Suggs. And again, it's the magic from deep. And still perfect in the second half. Four straight makes. Pass to Mitchell. To the middle. And Allen slams it in. And you know, games like this really boost Allen's confidence. I mean, and that feeds on itself. It will become more aggressive moving forward as a result. A throw wide open. He fires. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Garland. Garland's got assist number five here tonight. Down low. And that one is good from Suggs. Suggs has got nine points here in the second half. Really good concentration from Suggs there. Pretty good body control, too. And the whistle blows as the basket counts in a three-point play chance right here. One free throw coming up. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working. That's what I said. Keep the pressure on. The Cavaliers shooting the sixth attempt at the free throw line tonight. George Niang is checked in for Allen. by 18. And here is Suggs. He's got 15. Lays it up off the glass. Suggs has got 17 now. I tell you what, guys, there's not much more he can do. I mean, he's been on fire, yet they still trail in this game. That one falls. Boy, that's five buckets in a row now. Watch out. Looking like a well-oiled machine coming out of the break. Now, oh, here's Wagner. 19 points in the game. Orlando moving the ball around. That's good from Suggs on the assist from Van Carroll. Van Carroll's got his third assist on the ninth. There's Garland, and the layup's good off the glass. Garland's got 25 points in the game. And what you like about Garland, his ability to make the adjustment inside. Wagner, and a lot of guys on that one, so he'll shoot two here. For Orlando, they have been coming through at the charity stream. They've made seven of their eight attempts. From the line here. Just one of those nights when the confidence has spread from one player to the next. And Orlando making a change here. Isaac's checked in. Both free throws good from Wagner. And among NBA bigs, he is known for his ability to deliver at the free throw line. Harlan kicks to Struess. To the paint. Pass to Merrill. Now the dish to Mobley. Chalk up two there. 11 points for Evan Mobley. They have come out of halftime in great. Harris outside. To 
the right side. And that one's good. Suggs. Suggs has got 23 points. Yeah, the D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. So, timeout called here. The first for Cleveland. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. with it. He's got 25. Here's Struce. And it's sent back by Isaac. What a wingspan Isaac has. I mean, this guy is incredible at denying shots. And he loves to do it. Five on the clock. There's Garland. Drilled from 11 feet out. Garland's got four this quarter. And Garland is doing whatever he wants on offense. Looking absolutely dominant. And it goes down two points. Man, what a pass that was there. He really, really relishes making the game easier for his teammates. Now, here's Mobley. 11 points in the game. Traps in the tray. Mills got nine. And they've got to talk to each other on D. Their miscommunication... And now he's able to make a pay. Here's Wagner. Yep, it counts. I like the play call. Very solid. Making perfect use of the pick to get a great look. Garland dishes to Mobley. And it's sent back by Isaac. Here's Ben Carroll. It's good for his eighth consecutive basket in only eight tries. Wow. And Boncaro is putting it all together, capable of scoring from all three levels. Okoro, and good, and it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Feeling it. No doubt about it, he's definitely feeling it right now, shooting a terrific percentage from the field. Here's Isaac. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Earlier, they held a 23-point lead. Here's a Okoro. That's good, and it's Kerland with the assist. He's got 17. He can take over for Kerland, able to facilitate. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. You look at Darius Garland. Guys, what a contribution. Now he is on a major roll today. This timeout was desperately needed. They've got to come up with a new game plan designed to shut him down. Levert's checked in for the Cavaliers. Orlando also making some changes. Mo Wagner's checked in for Bancaro. Fultz comes in for Wagner. And Anthony's subbed in for Harris. Now here's Anthony. Five points in the game. Here's Isaac. Fades away and sinks the tough shot. Isaac's got his first two points of the night. Boy, I tell you what, the mid-range game of Isaac continues to get better, showing great stride and being a threat from here. 
Here's Merrill. Basket counts. And they got to bring the double team in. Defensive foul. Oh, ain't going to and taking a quick look here, guys, at the hustle stats for the Cavaliers. At the line, so you're you turn it over on them. They're, they're off to the races. They have been absolutely relentless in the open floor. And I love the fact they kept the pressure on, really pushing that ball, running it up the floor. I love seeing that. A team staying aggressive even when they're playing well. The Magic trail by 18. Anthony taking his time here. Six on the shot clock. Here's Isaac. That's in there. Anthony with the assist. Anthony's got his seventh assist in the game. Part of the job description as a guard. But Anthony relishes the chance to get his teammates good looks. Boy, you've got to appreciate the passing there. Results in a great look. Three trips to the line so far for him in this one. Cavaliers making a switch here. Allen's checked in. So it's Anthony bringing it up for the Magic. Trailing by 19. To the inside. Here's Isaac. No good. Shot missing. Good D by Mobley. Here's LaVert. Suggs with the steal. And now Orlando on the break. He blocks it again. A, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. Allen, that's good. Allen's got four points in the quarter. Yeah, letting it rip. They're just having fun right now. Yeah, offensively, they've just been rolling. Impossible to stop. Suggs passes to Wagner. Finds the bottom of the bucket from 13 feet out. Well, you like guys who can work that in-between area. Really keeps the defense honest. And I'll tell you what, guys. I mean, with this combination of size and touch, he's a real threat from mid-range. Here's LaVert, and it's Suggs with the rebound. It does not get much easier than that, but somehow he came up empty there. Here's Isaac, and he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Man, I admire how Isaac fights through the contact there, man. Grit and grind on display, not letting the defense tie him down on these shots. And it's Bruce missing. The Magic trail by 17 to the middle. Wagner kicks to Isaac. Anthony with it, and Allen picks him up defensively. That one drops for him. Anthony's got his third basket of the night right there. Tough to know if Anthony's going to drive by you or pull up. He's got both in his package. Had the defender on his heels there with the slick hand. Two minutes. Handle. The Two minutes. It's stolen. Here's Merrill. Yes, once again, it remains perfect. Six attempts and six hits. He's a big reason why they have the lead right now. He's made all of his field goal attempts thus far and remains hot from the floor. Up job, Wagner. Defended by Allen. And it's Wagner missing. The Cavaliers leading by 17. Here's Merrill. He's got 17. It's stolen by Fultz. Goes up, and it's Anthony with the jam. For a young player, I like the way Fultz sees the floor. He knows and feels when a guy is open. Levert finds Mobley. That's good. And it's Levert with the assist. Mobley's got 13. Yeah, a nice shot taking what the defenders gave him. But these guys need a gut check right now. Well, that's exactly the kind of defense that's gotten him into the hole. But these defenders just look a bit overmatched, especially inside. A nice shot by LeVert. He's got 10. Got to give LeVert credit. I mean, not allowing the defense to shut him down, using his length to get his shots off inside. Well done. And that one's good, Wagner. Nice job creating for the easy deuce. A nice shot by Mobley. 
Mobley's got nine points here in the second half. He's just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. Now Anthony. One second left, and again it's Orlando oh, converting. Just straight tricking the defender with the shot face. The end of the this is how it's done. And so it's Cleveland. Their lead at 15 going into the break. And we'll see if they can keep up their tremendous shooting. They've been dialed in so far from the field. And we'll be back with you shortly. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. And we're happy to have you back for more playoff basketball here in round one. Fourth quarter on the floor for the Magic. And Caro and Carter make up the inside pair. Filling the perimeter slots, it's Harrison Wagner. And it's Fultz at the point guard position. Now, here's Van Caro. Shoots over Mobley. And there are the Magic with another bucket. Oh, good to see that Bancaro has options if he can't penetrate. Your game has to be multifaceted in the league. Garland against Fultz. There's the feed to Mobley. Allen dishes to Mobley. Clock is at three. Here's a Kuro. It's deflected. Wagner, so good with his hands, but he's a smart defender, too. Positioned himself well to come away with that block. Yes, that goes in. Wagner's got 25 points in the game. How about that wonderful floater he has? Showing off an exquisite touch. Mitchell passes to Allen. Cleveland moving the ball around. Lays it up and banks it in. 20 points for Jared Allen. Well, you got to do much more than that to slow Allen. I mean, this guy is long and athletic, capable of converting through contact. Harris, the basket good off the assist from both. And that's now six points for Gary Harris. And I like that they're not settling. Hitting the ball on the interior, eight of their last ten coming that way. Sometimes you just got to man up and take a tough foul in order to stop these free runs to the rim. Now, here's Akoro, and it's good two points. Akoro's got 13 points here in the second half alone. Carter outside. It's stolen by Allen. Now, Cleveland moving it up. Here's Mitchell, and it's Mitchell at the jam. Superb pass from Garland. He's all for setting up his team. Feeds to Van Carroll. Count it. Van Carroll's got 22 points. Well, he's done his part. No doubt about it. Still yet to miss in the game. Garland dishes to Mitchell. He kicks it to Allen. Mitchell outside. Five to shoot. Let's it go with a three. Another three for Cleveland. And Mitchell is a confident score, including from downtown. Fultz with the ball. And Allen picks him up defensively. And that one drops for him. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. Those looks they're allowing are almost automatic. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, GA, the pick working to full effect before the stuff. And, you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, and that's exactly how you draw it up. Now here is Harris, and slam dunk by Harris. And smart ball movement there from Boncaro. And that selflessness will endear him to his teammates. Here's a Coro, and a great assist by Allen as that one goes in. Allen. Allen's got four assists now tonight. The pass to Wagner. Off 
target from three-point range. You know, after connecting on one three-pointer in the first half, he hasn't netted another one since. Garland kicks to Okoro. Passes to Mobley. In it goes for the eighth time in ten tries. Man, that's just cold-blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. Guys, when you're this hot, it's elementary. Let it fly. Keep staying at it. Now, here's Wagner. Here's Ben Carroll. And it's Orlando with another strong defense against Boncaro inside. But they can't break his focus, and he still manages to knock it down. Mobley, left side. Holds it up there for Mobley. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. And the pass here slowly up to the precise spot it needed to be. And no messing around on the finish. He powers it through. And that's an alley-oop that'll be loop-to-loop -loop all day long on the highlight reel. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. The best it counts in one. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. Nicely done. They continue to attack inside, and that's ten points in a row in the paint. If you can't stop it, here it comes. I'm right at you. Jalen Suggs has checked in for Markel Fultz. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. 100% since halftime? Come on now. I'm not sure this lead's going away anytime soon with that kind of marksmanship. And that one is good from Suggs. Suggs has got 27 points. So tough trying to slow down Suggs, especially when he gets it going, because he's persistent and relentless. Pulls up on the elbow. Jump shot is good. Going on the attack, working his way into a nice shot. The Magic trail by 20. Here's Suggs. And yes, it's good. Suggs has got four points now in the quarter. Now you can see that former football player mentality and history on display with Suggs. He is fearless. Here's a Okoro. It's deflected. And finished off by Ben Carroll. And you know what? One of the few bright spots in this game for them today. He's kept his edge even though they've been trailing. And then Mitchell hit the dunk. And guys, we know Mitchell can fill it up in a hurry, which is what makes him so much fun to watch. Here's Suggs. Three corners off the mark. Well, he's got a great stroke. That one almost dropped. One ball, Carter Jr. His third. Second team five. At the line for Cleveland, Donovan Mitchell. First one falls for. Him. Mitchell drops them both. And Wagner's got the ball here for the Magic. And Carroll outside. Shot is good off the back rim and in. That's 28 points for Paolo Bancaro. And this is the type of go-to score this team wants Bancaro to be. They love his confidence. Oh boy, inside. And Carroll's there. Lock it two. There's Garland. Count the basket. Garland's got four points this quarter. And he has just been in a flow offensive. A terrific game. He has been the X Factor. Harris finds Carter. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. Yeah, and luckily, they've got terrific depth at that position. If there's one spot on the floor where they can afford to lose somebody, 
that would probably be it. And he can't get the first one. Good on the second free throw. Cleveland leading by 19 points. Garland, the pass to Struth. It's up a three. Garland, no good. Can't seem to find the range here in the second. He did a great job in the first, hitting three from outside. The second half has really been all about paint scores. They've done a good job with that, getting that ball inside. At the line for the Magic, Jalen Suggs. On one or two from three point range here in the fourth. Inside, Bruce. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. Mitchell's got six assists in the game. Now a timeout called by Orlando. And he could tell his guys were dragging a little bit, calling timeout to kind of let them catch their breath. And now, please welcome to the court the powerhouse team. the New Balance player of the game, Darius Garland. Well, I tell you what, it's been so much fun watching him do his thing out here. I mean, the game is looking effortless for him, and he's riding that wave of confidence and momentum, which has allowed him to completely take over and dominate. What a way to start the series. If this game is any indication, he's going to be an unstoppable force the next few games. Passes to Suggs. Shoots over a Coro. The Magic again can't hit. Mitchell against Isaac. Mitchell left side. And that's part of what Mitchell brings to the table is the willingness to operate on the perimeter or get in there and mix it up on the interior. Jonathan Mitchell. Free throw dropped for Mitchell. And Mitchell drops them both. The Magic trail by 20. And here's Wagner. Pass to Suggs. Up and in on the way. 34 points for Jalen Suggs. Great to see a young guy play that kind of cerebral game. Wagner sees a shooter and gets him set up nicely. Okay, two hands for safety. That's, that's what they say, right? Uh, that's right. He was ultra safe with that dunk, no question. And he should be. I mean, remove all doubt. Get it down hard and simple. 
almost Two, an one. impossible shot to block in the post. The defender can't give up for that one, much of a height one, advantage one, and expect to contest it. Karis LaVert's checked in for Mitchell. One shot. So Garland will bring it up for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Mobley outside. There's 138 left in the fourth quarter. And it's sent back by Isaac. And so they get all the momentum in their corner. Opening this playoff series with a win for Cleveland. Not only did they shoot the ball better, but they had more assists. Yeah, I thought the passing in terms of finding the open man gave them the higher percentage shots. The ball movement was key for the win. And it's really got to feel very good to be able to jump out confidently to a 1-0 lead in this series. Absolutely. And I think their focus now has to be not on taking this win for granted. They should come out for game two with the same intensity and honestly, maybe even more. You know they'll face a more focused team in the next one, so they may have to be just a little bit tougher. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Darius Garland. Well, I thought he was their catalyst tonight, guys. Moving the rock, actively looking to set other guys up. Outstanding work. Now here is Harris. Isaac Okoro missing his last shot. Harris passes to Carter. Can't hit from in close. Now here's Lavert. So we see the Cavaliers taking the win here. A uh, pretty good feeling right now for them to be out in front like this in the series. You know, Kevin, the momentum so, so critical. And you know they'll want to ride this way into game two. And that about wraps it up for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference quarterfinals. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long.